All right, what did we get at Sam's Club? Enough rice for a whole family. Enough ice cream for a whole family. Enough eggs for a whole family. And of course, you can't go wrong with five pounds of animal crackers, ever. Good morning. Today, we're also going to film all the food I would normally eat. Now granted, huge caveat, like I mentioned, Kelly's gone and, and uh, if you guys follow me and you guys already know, Kelly's an amazing cook and so she cooks most of the time. And when I say most of the time, I mean about 100% of the time. So we're gonna kinda do uh, what I'd eat today, kinda what I'd normally eat, cause I'm cooking and then I think uh, we'll do another one when Kelly gets back, so kind of like, you can kind of compare the two, like if I was by myself, this is what I would eat, given my knowledge of cooking, because <clears throat> I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to cooking, we're gonna figure that out today pretty quickly. So what I would eat if I was cooking, and then we can kind of compare it one to one to what I'd eat if Kelly was here. Answer everyone's questions, yes, we will also be including all of the macros eaten by Winston. Winston's first meal of the day, mulch. Not sure the macro content in mulch. I'll have to look into it. Winston's second breakfast, regular dog food. Half cup plus another three fourths cup. Winston, how does it taste? All right guys, first thing I take in the morning is uh, Recover Pro. It's a Tan Institute product, uh, one of the companies I'm sponsored by. Um, it's a velvet antler extract uh, with tribulus. It aids in recovery. Take it every morning. Most of you may not know this, but I have a full-time job. So, I'm a project manager for a web development company. I work from home or work from uh, Cobra Command, my gym. Um, so anyways, I've got a work call in 30 minutes or actually closer than that. I've got a work call in like 20 minutes. So I don't have time to make breakfast right off the bat. So I'm gonna start off with 12 ounces of milk. Whole milk, of course. None of that, none of that white looking water with food coloring, skim milk. And then we're gonna do two scoops of 10 performances Pro Clean. Cinnamon flavor, sponsored by Cassidy Land. Uh, I talked to Cass Cassidy at TMX a couple weekends a couple weeks ago, and I told her that she should have picked uh, cake batter. <laughs> the fat kid in me wanted cake batter, not cinnamon, but cinnamon's pretty good. Ain't bad, ain't shabby. So we're gonna have this. Got 12 ounces of milk, a full serving size of that. I'm gonna go jump on a work call. Pow! Before I go work out, I usually take a uh, serving size of this. It's two full scoops. Two full scoops is 50 grams of carbs. So I'll take that in 16 ounces of cool, cool water with ice before we go work out. The one downside to their Pro Carb product is how messy it is. It's like a white fine powder and I feel like it gets everywhere. The first like week I had it, the first week they came out with it, I was so messy, it was all over the house and my wife was ticked. <laughs> We're doing eggs. My mom told me about this. It's actually pretty good. Mixed with rice. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Eggs, rice, and salsa. Great breakfast. So we're gonna do around six eggs. Six of these delicious little nuggets of gold. Two. Oh. No! 
three. Four. Almost there. Five. And last but not least, six. Gonna get about two cups of rice. It's a little bit cold, of course. I'm a complete mess. This is why my wife doesn't like me cooking in the kitchen. Warming up. And now we just sit here and wait for the eggs to cook. Got our eggs. Woohoo! Ah. Cooperate, eggs. Cooperate. Couple tablespoons of salsa. And ladies and gents, this is your final product. Nathan, are you excited to go to the gym? Truck! Good boy! And a boy! Is that your co-pilot seat? This is my co-pilot, Chewbacca. Also known as Winston. Alright guys, so we're going to the gym. Saturday, Saturday morning, we're going to the gym. We have are doing the second to last day of sorority rush week. So, thank God this is almost over. It is terrible. The workouts are really hard. Don't... Jimmy Christmas. You eat those so fast. Winston and I are sharing this tub of animal crackers. The workouts are really hard. Partially because you know good times for each workout, like... You know how many rounds is good for Cindy. You know a good Fran time. You know a good Grace time. Yada, yada, yada. But that's not the hardest part. The hardest part is knowing that you have seven full days of it, right? How many times I've gone to bed thinking, wow, I do not want to wake up tomorrow morning and do more pull-ups. Or, wow, I don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and have to do more air squats because my legs are already thrashed. Eva, then we have Barbara, then we have Elizabeth. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Barbara's the only workout, the only female that actually has rest built into the workout. So that's kind of cool. Um, you're eating those too fast, dude. You're going to get fat. So, of course, process of elimination. If I know I'm doing Eva and Barbara and Elizabeth today, and I've done six other days, or five other days, then I know what tomorrow is. I don't know the order yet. We haven't drawn for the order, but I know the workouts are Nancy, Mary, and Lynn. Yeah, so that's gonna be, that's gonna be terrible, because Mary's not fun to do at all. Animal Cracker? Don't worry, guys. We're keeping track of all the serving sizes of these animal crackers that Winston is eating. Olivia, put your put your hands up next to Andrew. Okay. <laughs> okay, stay still. It looks like Olivia's hands. How old are you, Olivia? Twelve. Are bigger than Andrew's. Andrew, how old are you? Thirty. Not. How old are you? Twenty-nine, about to be thirty. Oh, yeah, that's a. Liv, are you going to start using a male bar and let Andrew use a girl bar now? No. I think that's fair. I should, hey, you know what, if they're going to, if people are going to talk about the whole arm thing, then I'm going to talk about the hand thing in CrossFit. So, I at a barely... certain point, then you get to use a male's bar. It's like, the round of the bar, right, determines it's the It's just because your, your fingers are short, and my fingers are long. But it's not like I have fat But fingers. your hand is, like, bigger than mine. So I can't even, like, I, mm, this is how I look when I read the blur, it's just like, mm. All right, we just get into the first session. We did Eva, Barbara, and finally Elizabeth. So, gonna have a little bit of carbs. So we're gonna have a full serving of, of uh, Tim Performance Pro Carb again. Just got finished. And 16 ounces of water. And then after this, oh, oh man. And then after this, we'll probably also have a little more protein along with it. And then I'm gonna cook some lunch. Woo! We've got chicken tiki masala from Ice Age Meals. Sneak and savior on a daily basis. 
So we're gonna take it off, put it in the microwave for four minutes, and then come back, you know, move it around a little bit, and then put it back in for some more time. It's gonna be great. Ooh la la! Chicken tiki marsala with a little bit of salsa. Winston's jealous. He wants some, but he's not gonna get any of this for lunch. And over here we got our bachelor lineup of food. Protein, peanut butter, two loaves of bread, way too many animal, way too many graham crackers that you could possibly want to eat, buns, and jelly. And for dinner, meat's back on the menu, boys. Steak. It's it's steak. We're having steak. That your evil lair. Can I have that? Oh. Pull him back into your lair, huh? Oh. I may not be able to cook many things in life and may be kind of worthless in the kitchen, but I at least know how to cook meat. Because it's simple. And in the oven, we've got some potatoes. Potatoes for everyone! Pow, 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 pow. Oh yeah. Obviously, I'm not just gonna eat steak and ice cream and potatoes as much as I would like to. But Kelly left me some broccoli. But honest to goodness, I've never cooked broccoli before. So... Siri, what's the best way to cook broccoli? Here's what I found on the web for what's the best way to cook broccoli. How to cook broccoli. Five ways. Kitchen.com. Seems reliable. Broccoli is the vegetable we reach for when we need a little something extra to round out a meal. Seems about right. About right. Five ways to cook broccoli. First step, buying the best broccoli. Okay, well, I already got broccoli, so that's, that's already. Guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make broccoli. First thing you need, a chopping platter in the form of a cow. Yes, I look like Vanessa White. Then you need a really sharp knife. Pow, 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 pow. Then you need a lot of broccoli. Luckily, my wife left me with a large amount of broccoli. Ah! Next step, make a humongous mess with the broccoli. Check. Huge mess. Next, you see how the broccoli looks like the tree from Lion King where Mufasa used to live? Chop off the trunk. Get rid of that trunk. Sorry, Mufasa. Cut off all the little stems. Separate the big tree into a lot of little smaller trees. I got all this, I got all this broccoli sitting on this cow. Now what's next? Roast it. Heat the oven to 425. I've already got it up there for my potatoes. Toss the broccoli florets. I'm assuming this is a little broccoli floret. And stems with a few tablespoons of oil and some salt. Blah, 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 blah. Rolls for 20 to 25 minutes until broccoli is crunchy. All right, ladies and gents, we've got the potatoes done. We've got all the broccoli. All the little broccolis. Got the little chicken mint. Bark, bark. Gonna put them in the oven. Yep. Oh, shoot, there's a bunch of smoke out there. Holy crap. No! Oh. Shoot. Okay. Well. That failed miserably. Okay, Winston. We, uh, we aren't having steak tonight. So... Figuring something else out. Well guys, meat's definitely not back on the menu, boys. It's definitely off, unless you like your meat. Well, well, well done.
I was trying to figure out how to cook broccoli, and we lost the most important part of the meal. The meat. Ice Age meals coming in freaking clutch because I obviously cannot cook meat. Therefore, we're rocking out with two of these. And some potatoes and some broccoli. Alright, give me the happy dance. Happy dance. Oh, yes, happy dance, happy dance. Okay. Y'all like. Yes. Get it, Winston. Dinner time. I couldn't, uh, guys, I just couldn't let it go. I couldn't let you think that I literally can't cook meat. I will blame it on the fact that a couple nights in a row I cooked meat, but it was thicker, so it didn't burn as fast, and then I bought thin steaks, didn't think about it, and those puppies went up in flames. So, here we go. We'll see if they turn out. The bad part is, don't tell my wife this, the thermometer doesn't work anymore because unless it's uh, zero degrees right now, I'm not really sure. I think that's because it caught on fire. Well, we're closing out the night with a little halo top peanut butter cup ice cream. That's my idea of dessert. Winston's idea of dessert is a little bit different though. He's got himself a penguin for his dessert. I mean, I guess from his perspective, they're both cold and they're both from frigid climates. I think his might taste a little differently though. Oh yeah. I'm not really sure the macro count for uh, penguins these days. Guys, uh, Winston and I both appreciate you guys watching our full day of eating. Winston ate a lot of animal crackers, you know, had some cones. I caught him eating a dead rabbit. Uh, I didn't have my camera on me, though, so that kind of stinks. Um, he ate some mulch. He ate some dog food. I had some more edible food, obviously. Um, but we both enjoyed our day today. So thanks for following along. We appreciate it.